Hello EATV, I'm Brian Reels, and I hope you guys had a great winter break. I know I did, because I went to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I spent a great with my family. We left on Friday, December, on December, and we came back on Saturday, just before tragedy struck. I remember, I remember everything. Uh, we got there at the port airport in Puerto Rico at 6. Our flight was at, we get there, and our flight was at 8. At 10, we arrive here at 10, and in the loudspeaker, the guy says, there's an hour delay. I took that advantage and I slept with my little brother for a little bit. And then we got our luggage, my mom got hers, my dad got his, and I got mine. When the double doors, I promise you, when the double doors went like this, just closed, all you just hear rapidly, gunshots just rapidly out of a movie. I promise you. And I remember my mom and dad looked back for a split second and they were running. My little brother was, didn't know what was going on and my little brother, uh, he didn't know what was going on. He wanted to help, but I didn't let him. I grabbed him like a little football and I started running. And when my dad opened the car, I threw my mom threw the luggage. I threw mine into, and my little I threw my I threw myself with my little brother, and my mom threw the blanket over us. My dad starts the car and I, all I start hearing is screeching sounds of tires and my mom was shivering and all I remember was saying, you know, God, I don't ask for much. I just want to say thank you for everything I achieved in my life. I want to say thank you to everyone I met and, you know, if I could say I love him one more time, just give him a sign. And I heard that one last screech sound from my dad turning. It went quiet. And I'm like, is it over? I told the blanket over. And we were on the highway. And that was how it all ended. I didn't, I remember like it was just yesterday. Thank you, EATV, for letting me share this with you guys. And stay tuned for your morning announcements. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Natalie Garcia and I'm Melissa Rodriguez. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2017. Many people are happy to say goodbye to 2016 and kick off 2017 with a fresh start. Unfortunately, January started off on a bad foot not only in South Florida but for the entire nation after multiple people were gunned down at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Five people died, six people were sent to the hospital and thousands of travelers were impacted by the chaos. One HEA student and a member of our TV production class, Brian Reels, was at the airport with his family when it happened. He shared his story with us. This week, Mrs. Lozano's AP environmental class got up close and personal look into the Everglades. The group of 24 students learned about the negative effects of our climate change in our own backyard. 
¡Está fría el agua! ¡Eh! ¡Mira, mira, mira, mira! ¡Mani, la cabeza! This past Sunday, your Miami Dolphins flew to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers in the AFC wildcard game. In a merciless effort, the Steelers stole the show, pounding the Dolphins 30-12, ending the Dolphins' 2016-2017 season. The NCAA Championship trophy will come to rest in Greenville, South Carolina, as the Clemson Tigers beat the Alabama Crimson Tide 35-31. Clemson quarterback Deshaun Watson is one of three finalists for the Heisman Trophy, totaling 3,512 passing yards, 30 touchdowns against 11 interceptions, as well as, eight, as well as 887 rushing yards with 11 touchdowns on the ground. There's a breaking news, I gotta get that. Keep up with me, keep up with me. This is why Univision always gets the news first. All right, all right, I'm here with the breaking news story. All right, what do you think of your New Year's resolution? It's a treat. All right, so we made it. All right, so we're here. All right, all right. So Paez told me to get the camera, right? I don't know him, I don't know him. You know who she is? Full name, Christine Paez. Her real name's Mart last name's Martin. Is that a phone? That's my phone, I'm sorry. You know, thank you for grabbing me a chair. Unprofessional of me. Won't happen again. No, I hope not. Do you want to sit down? Do you no, wanna... you're going to do it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yes. so I'm here with Mr. Rabulan, right? How is your day going so far, even though you just started? I'm having a good day. I'm, I have a little pain because I, I got a pinched nerve in my back, but I'll make it. Yeah. I understand. So, you, you know, I'm interviewing a couple people. I don't know why she told me to interview people. She didn't give me a tripod. Like, look at that. Look, point at yourself, Chris. You think he's a tripod? That's a human being. How's your day going? Not bad. His day's not going bad. <laughs> All right, so that's great to hear. I like to hear that. 2016 ended, right? Mm -hmm. You were in the holiday special, oh. right? Right? How did that feel? How did that? It felt amazing. Wow. It's hard being stopped in the streets not asking for autographs. Oh, it? really? Oh, man, I used to get that all the time. <laughs> man, oh. What is your New Year's resolution? Because, you know, 2016 ended. I don't know if you knew that. 2016 ended, right? Yeah. And 2017 starting. I mean, it already started. It's, we're like 11 days in. I don't know if you knew that. Well, wait, wait. We're putting this on Friday. How many days are we in by that time? 13, bro. Friday the 13. Oh. Friday the 13th. Uh, <laughs> to not worry so much about life. To not worry so much about life. What do you worry about? Uh, how will I do with my kids? You know, just other things. What kids? These kids? These children, yes. <laughs> it's all a lie. What is your New Year's resolution? New Year, say me. Do you think this is a game? Do I have to play along? This isn't a game. What is your New Year's resolution? Well, just to be closer to my family, uh, try to make the best out of every day, and uh, just, you know, keep, uh, keep my job up to the standards that they require. That answer is so beautiful. So where are you going to go for vacation? What are you thinking about? Thinking about Europe. Europe? What, what, where in Europe? Like, um, I think we were planning Norway, Denmark, Sweden, something like that. Norway, Denmark, Sweden. Do you know where those are? Do you know where those places are? They're in Europe. Uh, New, Year's year, uh, New Year's resolution, I don't know, I never thought of one. I pretty much don't pay attention to the resolutions. I mean, I try not to be... Do you pay attention to the new year? Yeah, I mean, it's a new year. Do you have anything else you want to say? No. I have to get used to writing seven instead of six now. Is that really what you're most worried about? Maybe. And have you watched the ATV? Of course. Where, wait, you were in it? I was in mm, That didn't work. That question worked for the security guard. Have you watched the ATV? What is that? Unbelievable. Let's go to the next person. 
So I got a few questions to ask you. All right. So I've been hearing rumors that uh, you know the best is yet to come for EA TV. Um, no, what else? Already happened. To be honest with you, no. We're we're done. Uh, we already gave you everything. The second half of the year, I promise you, is going to be terrible. We're not putting you in it. As you can tell, there are a lot of different types of New Year's resolutions. Mr. Rabulan was worried about his kids and where exactly he was going to travel to, and T was just worried about getting used to writing the number seven instead of six. Now you might be wondering, why are you even doing a review right now? I'm reviewing New Year's resolutions. Wow, shocker, I know. But if you know me, you know I can't just review New Year's resolutions. Let's start off by bringing up the obvious ones that everyone likes to say is their New Year's resolutions, like losing weight. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I take this one personally. I understand the struggle people go through when it comes to their weight, because at one point, I did too. I mean, look at me, standing next to the yet to become wise man of HEA. Just look at me. But there's one thing I did and one thing I didn't do. One thing I did was not do it in the beginning of a new year. I know that sometimes people want to start off fresh and just kick off an entirely new calendar year living a healthier lifestyle, but let's be honest, it's not gonna happen. This is the most obvious of New Year's resolutions. Look at all these memes about it. Now one thing I do want to put out there is the security guard's answer to the New Year's resolution question. He said he was going to do what his job requires him to do. Now I don't know about you, but I feel safe now. Not only do they take away your man bun, tell you to tuck in your shirt, remind you that the lunch line is actually two lines, but they protect and serve this school with pride. How cute. And if you're wondering, what's my New Year's resolution? It's... Tell me what you really like Baby, I can take my time We don't ever have to fight Just take 